All right, let's see. What? Oh. Shut the fuck up! Hey, I'm Zach, and today I am taking a bath in champagne to see if I can get drunk through my skin. Why champagne? Because champagne is the highest proof alcohol that BuzzFeed's legal team would allow us to do. Also, I like bubbles. There's not a lot of research on whether or not you can absorb alcohol through your skin. So we're gonna do this for you, for science. I've got some friends here to help put champagne on me. Keith, we got Shane, looks like Annie's here. My best friend Ben from New York. Ben is a doctor and has informed me that I should be concerned about a UTI because uh, alcohol has sugars and sugars in your pee pee hole is a bad time. So I've worn a condom and I've wrapped it with rubber bands. This is a very confusing day. Don't zoom in, don't, don't, don't do that. What? But first, to prove that I am not yet drunk, I'm going to take a breathalyzer. <gasps> I, I didn't have enough breath. Well, it's zeros. Let's just trust that, huh? Let's do it. I mean, yeah. I take our clothes off? Great. I am potentially a little worried. I, I'm mostly just worried that it's gonna sting. Um, but you know, it's Friday, so let's party. Who wants to pour stuff on me? Sorry, I spit it out. I'm not I drunk yet, but this is definitely a weird fever dream. Oh, oh. <laughs> yep. Oh no, I feel great. Yeah? I feel very relaxed. Yeah, let's do a breathalyzer. Let's see where we're at. One, there. Oh. All right, let's see. What? Oh. Shut the f up. Okay. What? Are it says drunk? .063. It says danger. <laughs> But, however, All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's a lot of fumes in the air. A lot air. of fumes. It's like beeping danger. One. Maybe your butt choking on accident. One. No. It's in the caution level, and there's a frowny face blinking. It's really hard right now to know if this is a placebo or real, but I definitely, I feel uh, loopy. Yeah? Uh-huh. <laughs> We basically, right now we're trying to see is the breathalyzer picking up on me or is it just picking up on this? So Keith is joining me, uh, cause he's a good butt. I'm gonna let the fumes get into my mouth. All right, take a, take a breathalyzer. My, my testicles uh, feel tingly. 0.39? Oh. Not 039 either? Okay. 0.39? All right. All right, so it's it something is... I'm dead. Literally <laughs> right. Here. I'm dead at this point. So through our experimentation, we found that anyone who breathalyzes right here, it will read way too high. So we're gonna take Zach, mm -hmm. get him out of this tub, douse him with water so he doesn't have any fumes on his own body, mm -hmm. and breathalyze him, and that should tell us definitively if he's drunk or not. Oh, it's so cold! Oh, oh. Stop run, jumping well, away from it. Stop making it bad. Uh, pretend it's a shampoo commercial. I'm your Venus. That's a shaving commercial. I'm your Venus. One, one, one. Okay, that's good. I'm really hoping that I'm at least a little something. Point oh two. Yeah, we did it, America. <laughs> it does seem like his body did absorb some alcohol. So what are we learning today? Very exciting. This is a definitive piece of scientific literature from this point forward. Uh, so, I mean, my takeaways here are if you have $300 and a lot of friends, then you too can barely get tipsy in a bathtub. Yeah, I guess this is not a very economical way to get drunk. No. <laughs>